Oof, another day in work is about to begin! So, that is my third upload in 3 days, and you'll see there are lots of changes since the last two videos. Just remember this is work in progress, that isn't even reviewed by the design team, and the point of those videos is to follow GNOME progress that is super fun! <laughs> fun aside, every time you see an open source review you should always give feedback to the developers. It is your duty to give constructive criticism and shape the future of GNOME. Chino, please give an example of constructive criticism. That was perfect, thank you, Chino. I'm sorry. I'm going now. Ha! Two dollars already from YouTube ads. Yes, but I'm so cute, ain't I? So, these are today's patches from George, not merged on Master, and the first change is the removal of frequent used apps tab. Very bad mechanics since the beginning, nobody will miss it, in fact very few people will even notice it is gone. Another reason I love this change, is because Dash to Panel will now play even better. Drag and drop an app to another, to create a new app folder like before, but now Overview will auto-scroll to the page that folder was moved. Super super nice change! Right click to edit the folder name is now gone, instead we're getting inside and we can rename it directly from the title. Also a very nice change, with better discoverability. And again, overview will scroll to the page that folder was moved. Let's go to controversy. The blur now only works on app folder box, while before it was working on the full overview, and I think it was much better. I do like that the app folder is now on the center of the screen, but the size of this box feels wrong. Probably it is made that small so we can easily remove apps, but the visuals just feel wrong. There are ongoing discussions on IRC, and I don't believe that will be the final design anyway. Removing an app will close the app folder, and adding apps will not automatically open it. From app folder we can drag and drop applications to dock and on this case the app folder will remain open. In general the whole experience feels pretty robust. Another thing that hopefully will arrive, is the custom placement of icons in app folders, which is yet another reason we don't need the frequent view. If that get combined with the multiple end labels, to me at least, shell applications overview will be almost perfect. A few things like emptying an app folder are bugged, so I can't show that. Nevertheless the progress is impressive, considering that George is doing one more million stuff. And you should know! If I didn't like it, I was simply doing constructive criticism and saying it sucks. To make a glorious video exit, I'd say the first time I see GNOME Shell having such active development. In fact, Shell maintainers don't even have the time to review the patches. And everything pretty much started since GNOME 3.32 release, when Ubuntu moved to GNOME. <sighs> or maybe was an accident, but in any case, we have nothing to worry about. And even if they screw something, they will fix it on next release, because things have started to happen very fast. 